Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on programming computational fluid dynamics. So as discussed last time, we have already completed the time integration up to three step Runge Gutta method. And now let us start with the reconstruction of the space, uh, I mean reconstruction of the variable in space so that we have a higher order reconstruction so that we can get better results for our uh, solutions. So before we do that, let us look at what we have already done by just running this code and we will look at the results to see uh, what are the existing results so that we can compare it and look at what improvement we get after uh, or what changes we get after we implement the higher order reconstruction. So let me also run the plotting code. Um, so this should plot the graphs so this is what we have already uh, you can see okay here this is what we have and you can see that it is pretty much diffused right basically the uh, sharp corners which should have been maintained are lost because of diffusion error so we would like to reduce this diffusion error and that is why we are trying to go to a higher order method in space uh, so let us do this now uh, before we implement our higher order methods, let us look at what are the methods that we are going to implement. So uh, to do it in a much more systematic way, let me uh, let me define a different enumeration class. So we will define a, define another enumeration class. Uh, so we will define an enum. Let us call this reconstruction type. Reconstruction types. Okay, and let me define all the methods that, uh, sorry, all the reconstruction types that I will be implementing here. So the first one which we have already implemented is first order. Then I'll be implementing Lex Vendroff. then i'll be implementing beam and warming and i will also be implementing from as of now so later on we will implement more methods uh, like uh, uh, tvd methods using uh, limiters so that we'll be doing next but now we'll quickly try to implement this four we have already implemented first order so we'll try to implement this three very quickly and see what is happening and what are the problems which come up as we increase the uh, order of accuracy uh, to be more specific we will be having orders uh, so we will be having uh, problems related to oscillations even though these methods are stable they will show up oscillations and to remove those oscillations we will be later on implementing uh, limiter based uh, tvd methods so that we will be looking at uh, later on but as of now we will at least implement this three so let us go here and since we this is a first order method let us put this in the first order method so we'll create this cases now uh, so case uh, sorry i'll create a switch based on reconstruction type oh so i have to define one more variable here in our config class and I'll call it oops, 
I'll call it reconstruction types. So let us say first order and in here we'll have based on the reconstruction sorry this will change based on the reconstruction type so case if it is uh, say first order then I'll be implementing this okay so um, this is our first case let me break out of this case then I'll have case called uh, let us implement beam and warming first case beam and warming and this is what we need to implement.